Hey there, friends. Nick the Tech Guy here with a new product management series. So, if you're trying to become a PM, or you already are one, but maybe looking for a new employer, it's my bet that you are reading this bad boy. Cracking the PM interview. Now, on the off chance that you aren't reading it, turn off this video, go buy the book, it's invaluable, and then come back. Anyways, I studied this book like my life depended on it. When I was first getting my first PM job out of college, which turned out to be Tesla in California, the book works. It has extremely, extremely solid tried and true advice, but now that I'm in my second PM position at another company, I gave this a little flip through the other day and realized some of this stuff is a little outdated. And I wanted to make sure you have the most up-to-date information on how product management works and how interviews work and all that good stuff so you can land your dream job. Let's get into it immediately. Chapter one, it's just kind of whatever. Chapter two is what we'll be starting with. Specifically, the top 10 myths of product management. And all of these are chaptered, by the way. So if you ever get bored, you know, look at the scroll bar below after you subscribe and, uh, you know, click around. Now, the first myth they have in here is that product managers are project managers. That is a myth of product management. This one is entirely true. This one's entirely true. Uh, product managers and project managers, while they sound similar, very, very different uh, skill sets, different responsibilities. Project managers are handed a project, they plan it out, they make sure it runs well to completion. While product managers, we go all the way back to the discovery phase of coming up with the project. Uh, not to mention we own a part of the product or own all of the product. So that's number one. Number two is product managers are in marketing. This is not true. Uh, the myth is correct that it's a myth, but it's not true that we're in marketing. Matter of fact, there's a new field emerging called a product marketing manager. And this is a role that interfaces clo closely with, you know, product managers like me to understand what we're building and then links that to the marketers to really sell the product to the customer. So that's product marketing manager, product managers, we don't really touch marketing at all. Number three, big myth, you can't become a product manager right out of college. This is false, how do I know? Because I graduated from a non-prestigious university, um, and about seven months later, I was a product manager at Tesla in California. And I didn't have any, you know, like career experience before. So big myth, if you're worried, if you think, oh, I'm just leaving college, I won't be able to be a product manager. You entirely will. I, I fully believe in you. Not to mention there are so many um, APM programs, uh, associate product management programs with Uber, Lyft, Airbnb, Tesla, I think does some. So look out for those, look for junior PM roles. All you have to do is get your foot in the door once and that it's over. That's all you need, just that, just that one foot in the door. So you can definitely become a product manager right out of college. Number four, product managers just write specs. We do write specs. We write uh, PRDs, product requirement documents that kind of have everything about the product, every user case, every statistic we'll be studying later on to see if it worked in that document. But the key word here is just. So no, we don't just do that. That's one facet of the job. But there's, you know, talking to customers, there's talking to product marketing manager, making sure our copy is correct, designing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Number five, product managers just set up meetings. Again, this is just like number four, uh, yes, we do set up a lot of meetings. There are a lot of meetings with designers and engineers and managers and stakeholders, but we don't just set up meetings. So that's a myth debusted or maybe busted. Number six, PMs should build exactly what the customers ask for. 
This is a myth and it's untrue, but it's a tricky one because obviously you want your customers to be happy. You want them to enjoy what you've built, but sometimes they just don't know what they need. They don't know what they want. Okay, it brings me back to this famous quote by Henry Ford <clears throat> when he says, if I would have asked people what they wanted, they would have said faster horses. And obviously he invented, pretty much invented the car. He didn't invent it, but it, you know, blah, blah, blah. So you don't ask customers what they want. You ask them leading questions, what's annoying to them in the product, uh, what, what does competition do that they might want inside of this, this product? So yeah, we shouldn't build exactly what the customers ask for, but we should build exactly what the customers want. There's a big difference there. Number seven is PMs set the dates. If you're a PM, you know this is hilariously untrue. If you're an engineer, you know this is hilariously untrue as well. We try, we put stuff on roadmaps, blah, 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 but engineers set the dates. Engineers are the builders of the house. We're the architects, uh, more like designers of the architects. I don't really know what we are in terms of house, house analogies, but engineers set the dates. Engineers know when stuff is gonna get done. Sometimes they have to push it out. And that's our job as product managers to shield them from everyone else when they're hard at work uh, in those coding programs. Number eight, three to go. Product managers are the boss. So it's similar to say, a lot of product managers say they're the CEO of the product. And I can see why they say that. I, I really can. You know, we have our fingers in everything. We're making decisions on everything. But we're not really a boss, you know? Our, our title has manager in it, but we're managing the product. But whoever works for the product has to collaborate on what we think should happen. But collaborate's a key word here because engineers could push back, say we can't do that. Stakeholders should, can say, no, we're not gonna do that. So it, it's more of a collaboration process is what product managers do. Number nine. Number nine, this one lies very dear to my heart. Ideas are more important than execution outside of product management, even in the startup world. This is not true. Ideas are worthless. Ideas are a dime a dozen. Ideas are nothing. Execution is 99.9% .9 of the entire process of building a company, an app, a business, whatever it may be. That's a myth. And finally, number 10, in cracking the PM interview, you can, oh, this one's great. You can say, that's not my job. No, you can't. <laughs> As a product manager, you cannot say that. Um, there are nice, politically, not politically, corporately correct ways to possibly say that if it's just something so outside of your scope. But for the most part, if someone comes to you, you are a catch-all, you are the hub for all the spokes, and you will be doing whatever they want you to do. With joy, with happiness, because you know it's gonna make the product better. So, cracking the PM interview, those were 10 top myths. I will be going over so many other parts of this book. If you enjoyed it, if you're studying the book, if you wanna be a product manager or already are one trying to switch careers, whatever it may be, please subscribe. I would love, love, love that. Uh, like this video, comment, if you want me to touch on something deeper or if you just have a curious question about product management. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.